and welcome to Inverbervie on the east coast of Scotland. I've been spending a lot of time down here recently with work, doing seabird surveys in some of the local nature reserves, staying at this beautiful campsite here, it's a stunning location. My plan tonight was to go out with my camera and shoot the sun setting over this beautiful river here, um, which has got these great shapes and great shingle here. And there's also an old ancient bridge over there as well, which would act as some great interest in the image. However, as you can see, it is very, very cloudy, very overcast and not particularly interesting. So instead, I'm going to give you a quick tour of this place with the hope that the weather's going to be better tomorrow night and I'll hopefully get some images tomorrow night. But if not, I'll be back again next week and I will keep coming back until I get some images. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen some images from me from Inverbervie a few weeks ago with the sun setting over this river here and the reflections on it as well. It was a beautiful night, but I never had my camera with me then, unfortunately. So I was hoping to rectify that tonight, but it's not going to happen. So instead we're going to go exploring and see what we can discover. What an excellent place to sit and unwind. I love this time of day when the sun's beginning to set in the distance and you've got nice still air. There's barely a breeze in the air right now and this river is so still and the reflections are beautiful. This place here in Inverbervie, where the river comes out into the sea, or it's probably not a river, it's probably more of a stream, but where it comes out into the sea, you've got this beautiful creation of shingle here. And some of the shapes that are formed by the water in this shingle are so beautiful. And this beach here has got some really cracking stones. Might sound a bit bizarre, but we were out walking here a few weeks ago and when the tide goes out and all the wet stones are unearthed, some of them are so unique because of the rock and the minerals that have formed these stones. They are so beautiful. I found bright red ones, bright green ones. It's just a way I felt of connection with the natural world in a new way. Discovering these beautiful stones here on the beach it was literally like a treasure hunt. I think what I might do in this video is go back and have a look at some of these stones and see if I can find any more interesting ones tonight, just to show you what I mean. But for now, I'm just relaxing here, overlooking this gorgeous river with the sun setting. There's no nice light, but it's still a beautiful, beautiful time of day. And it's well worth getting out and chilling and just enjoying it. what I want to achieve with this video is this idea of peace and tranquility. It's been so long now since I've kind of felt detached from the world, where I felt completely at peace and completely at ease with life. And when I came here for the first time a few weeks ago to camp for work, the peace and quiet that r resonates from this river and this coastal town it just feels so calming and like I say, so, just feels so calming and so, so peaceful. And when I was editing my one year anniversary video, I, the things which really got to me was some of the videos I made last autumn when I was away shooting and in the Cairngorms and things didn't go to plan. And in those videos, I talked a lot about achievements in life, 
about progressing, about positivity, about getting out and, you know, finding positives in life and assessing your life and, you know, really making the most of it. And I kind of don't feel like I've sat down in a vlog for ages and just spoken. And I've also recently watched quite a lot of David Dixon's videos. If you don't already watch him, please do, because his videos are about photography and the idea of mindfulness. And he speaks a lot about mental health, which I think is, is a very, you know, is a great thing to do. And photography for many people is a cure or is a way of coping with mental health. And for me, coming outdoors and enjoying nature it's how I keep my mental well-being up to a reasonable standard. And somewhere like this, it's so tranquil. Somewhere that all you can hear is the lapping waves behind you, all the, the farmland, birds tweeting in the distance. It's places like these which, which make you feel like you're getting away from it all and make you really feel connected with life and connected with the world. And a minute ago I showed a clip of the river, I threw a stone in, you saw the ripples. Things like that are the natural beauty in nature. And things like that are what we can discover when we get outdoors and embrace this natural world. I'd never been to Inverbervie until a few weeks ago. And as soon as I arrived here, I almost felt a connection with this place. And you don't get that very often in life. But I think it is just the peace and the tranquility that you get here. It's truly beautiful. And again, I've mentioned many times in videos before how the east coast of Scotland is so unvisited in many ways compared to the west and all the really popular places. But it is through getting away from those very busy and popular places that you find yourself and that you find secret places which really connect with you and make you feel warm and happy inside. Last week when I was here, I climbed up this the hill over here to read a book. And up that hill you've got a bird's eye view of the river and the sea. And it was such a beautiful place to go. I felt so kind of disconnected with the world, but in a good way. So free. I just want to kind of express that idea. That idea of just getting outdoors, of just getting away and just feeling mentally at ease and mentally at peace with your life and with whatever's going on in it and the importance of finding peace and quiet in a world where we're constantly connected where we're constantly busy places like this we all need to find them in our lives and we all need to get out explore and enjoy the world that surrounds us because nature is beautiful and every time you come out into nature no matter how you're feeling you will find something to put a smile on your face I can guarantee you that I feel the need to quickly vlog about this shingle outlet we've got here it's so beautiful This is kind of what I was on about earlier in this vlog. It's, this, it's how this place, the shingle, the shapes that's created here by the force of the waves. Just nature just creates so much natural beauty. Obviously it creates natural beauty, it's nature, but you know, it just creates so many beautiful things. Things which so many of us take for granted. Right now I'm looking over the bridge, which is in the distance over here. We've got some beautiful clouds just rolling over that bridge. Deep, dark, kind of blue clouds. They're so beautiful. Noticing these little things in the world where many people would walk by them is what in many ways makes you feel so much more content with your life, so much more content with who you are. And from a photography point of view, it makes you notice things which, which the average person would just walk by. Nights like tonight is what makes me 
improve as a photographer. Because if I can go out for a walk and I can spot things in the landscape which most people would walk by, I can create future images in my head and I can think outside the box and think about potential images which I might be able to shoot in the future. So this area here has got so much to offer from a photographer's point of view. Because in my opinion, in many ways it's beautiful. You can get reflection shots on the river. You've got the beautiful sea with the waves. All these different formations that are forming in the shingle. You've got leading lines. You've got plenty to give you good foreground. Plenty to give you good depth. Architecture the possibility of different viewpoints by climbing up the hills. You've got an old war bunker over here. And I'm just tonight tuning into the environment. Like I say, I was hoping to come out tonight with my camera, but the conditions just aren't quite right for that. But I'm tuning into my environment and finding potential photo opportunities. Tomorrow night, even if the weather's rubbish, I'm gonna come out with my camera because I've decided that I'm going to get some images. I've not shot a good landscape photography video in quite some time now and through watching other landscape photography YouTubers and doing my one year anniversary thing again I kind of forgot how much I miss going out on my own, finding quiet unique places and trying to get some images. So that's exactly what I'm going to do tomorrow and I kind of hope that this first half of the video you've enjoyed from the idea that Sometimes just getting out, listening and tuning into the environment and witnessing the naturalness of a coastal village like this, looking for potential photo opportunities. It could be so good for your soul. And somewhere like this is not iconic. And I mean, there's very good reasons why it's not iconic, because it's not, you know, in many ways, it's not the most striking location in Scotland for photography. But if you look deeper into the landscape and deeper into what's happening around you, what's moving, what's reflecting, where the light's hitting, the opportunities, the shifting waves, you can create good photographs and you can create unique photographs, which most other people will never photograph. I'm going to go now back to my tent, get some sleep, do a full day's work tomorrow and then meet you all back here tomorrow evening with my camera and try, even if the conditions are rubbish, try and get some images for you all. view up here is so so beautiful I've been feeling so small Watch this is what I live for but tonight I'm letting it go spend my coin for sure